Hello and welcome everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about Spring support for collections in Java. Like we have different variety of collections available through the java.util package, let's set map and kind of. So all of these collection Spring has a very good support for. And let's see here. Like uh, if I talk about this Spring. Uh, this supports four major collection types of Java. Those are list, set, map, and properties. And we'll discuss each one of these one by one. And in today's session here, we'll discuss the list first. Then in the following videos, you'll see set, map, and properties as well. So let's start our discussion with an application. So let me just open the Eclipse. Here we go. We have the welcome screen this was the project spring 01 we have our configuration file and all of the codes ready so let me just execute it to test if some changes are required as part of the demo if I have made some changes which may result in some kind of exception or thing so let me correct it quickly so I guess no changes are required and the code is working fine perfectly with the changes that we discussed in the last session that was I do ref and uh, simply the bean identifier tags and kind of thing aliases we have discussed okay so let's proceed on and to demonstrate this collection and specifically the list type here I require a class so I'm gonna create a class over here like you can see we have account transaction and an implementation class already I'm gonna introduce a new class today let's say we have a class here called customer in the customer class let's say I have three properties string name int h and then string gender okay this is not an actual class or these all packages classes and scenarios that I'm creating are completely hypothetical there is no relation with a with an real banking project that I'm demonstrating over here it's just for the demonstration and later on we'll see how exactly in an actual project this when it is going to grow big and big large and large then I will show you how exactly this classes are interrelated and how spring will help you but here just I have created a customer class which, has go which is going to have no relation with the existing class okay so let's see here we request some getter and setter so I am gonna generate here select all generate it okay fine so we have three properties name age and gender as you can see here name age and gender and we have corresponding getters and setter and lastly I would like to here simply overwrite this to string method here we go rather than returning the super I say return something like customer name that is going to be the name variables value then let me call it age and it's gonna be the variable age value and gender it's going to be the gender mm, and one more thing let's group it like a square bracket over here and this value when it will be written when we try to just simply directly print the object customer object I want to retrieve the value customer name age and gender whatever is contained in the object rather than having the memory address being written that's why I overridden it okay now let's say I have another class over here call it report and let's say in the banking applications at some times someone wish to see the report of all the customers available so what we can do here is that we can create a customer array we can specify the maximum number of size for the array statically and create as many objects as and push in as per de in the defined size of the array but as the list or the collection of customer is going to be dynamic we need to have a dynamic collection over here either it could be list set map or properties whatever it is so here I'm going to show that if I have a list of customers available as a part of this class how exactly this is going to be injected via this configuration file our beans.xml and how we gonna re retrieve it so let's say this report class is having uh, let's say first I need to import over here java.util although it can be imported later also I say list of customer type object 
and I call it customer list fine here again for the customer list as well I need a getter and setter so I generate it ok so I have a report class that contains only one property called customer list which is of type list and it's generic list of type customer so now let's jump quickly into our configuration file and see how this can be configured and access over here so as a usual practice I declare a bean with an ID let's call it RPT okay for the report class I say class com dot wordpress dot srk planet dot report so at runtime container is going to create an object a bean of type stripe type report by the name rpt fine now what exactly this report contain uh, one property over there one and only one property that is list of customer you can see over here in our report class what exactly we have only one property called customer list so to initialize it or to simply say that the container has to initialize it I'm gonna create a property over here the name is going to be customer list and as part of this customer list now you can see over here I cannot supply the simple type value by using the value tag neither I can supply a reference type over here directly what exactly I have a case here that this customer list property of the report class is of type list you see here once again customer list property of class report is of what type list is not of a string type is not of integer type is not of account type or any other class it's of a collection type so in order to initialize this property or let the container specify or initialize the values for this property we have a specific element over here that can be nested inside property that is list element okay now here what we do with the list we specify what are going to be the content of the list as part of this customer list what all is going to be the content of this collection we need to specify here in the opening and closing of this list tag so as you guess or as you can see over here actually that's what exactly it will contain I specified it over here by creating a generic list customer type so we need some customer type so what we need is a bean we specify class com dot wordpress dot circuit planet dot customer okay and again this customer class is going to have certain properties which you can list over here and see age gender and name so again here I specify property name is name and what value you want over here for this you can specify like I say here Amit Malik fine now two more properties are here age and another one is gender so here I specify the age over here like 24 and let's say gender is going to be male so this is one object that I have created of customer type you can see here its inner bean we have discussed it in the last session you can see a bean nested inside a bean and it's going to be very helpful in such scenarios like we're discussing the one over here we have a customer class bean over here and you see I don't specify any ID or name it's not required we cannot refer to this bean outside this scope of the bean class that is of RPT type so we have this bean which is going to be part of this customer list and it will be injected into our report class of bean that is RPT similarly I am going to copy it and create few more beans over here and just change the values over here like say over here I say Ashish Rustagi ok let's change the age and let's say here we are gonna have Mega Gupta ok and age is gonna be 23 and let's say female ok so we have three customer object you can see first second and third all these are part of our customer list list type variable this variable or this property belongs to the report type so at runtime what exactly container will do will simply instantiate the report type and as part of its one only property customer list it will see over here list tag so it will start creating the objects simple beans over here and these object will be added as a 
part of this collection and it which will be further part of our reports and now let's see how we gonna retrieve and implement it I come back over here to the implementation for now I'm going to just comment it these codes okay to make you demonstrate what exactly this collection is and how we are gonna access it now what I require here is a report okay and I say here report I call it REP and I refer to report and I mean simply type casting it I make use of this factory variable and then I call it get bean and pass over here I guess RPT is the name that I have given over there let's just confirm it once more RPT yes so report class is the bean that will be instantiated or created by the container and that bean I'm gonna retrieve with the help of the factory method over here with the help of this factory method I get the report and I'm I have to have casted it over here into this report type variable what else we need to do over here we know this what exactly this report contain if I say report dot get me the customer list it is going to return me the list of customer if this report has been instantiated and if it contains and its property is initialized it contains list of customers so I call this customer list and I store over here into the list type variable customer okay and your java.util package need to be imported here so I just point the mouse over here and choose java.util here I name it like call it cust cust so you can see over here no type casting is required as it is as it is generic if you don't have generic you have to type cast it to a specific type okay now so we got this customer object whatever it is uh, that is stored or instantiated by the container and simply I'm gonna just print this collection as we know that this method is overridden already in the collection type and when you try to print a collection the content of the collection are printed and if you remember here just now I have specified or overridden this two string method the reason I overridden this two string method is that in this case when you are going to print the collection type object list type object cust what it will list the content of this collection and as part of the content of this collection it contain customer objects these objects are simply reference type the memory addresses which are going to be printed rather than printing the memory object what I did here there that when someone try to print directly the customer type object overridden to string method will return you the content that is being the value of the members or the property of this customer class that is name age and address value will be written rather than returning the memory address if you try to print customer object now you will you can see that if you have overridden the two string method you will get this output written I have written the written statement over here so every time if I try to print the collection type uh, this customer type collection which is contained in a collection this list will not list the addresses rather now it will return you the content so let me show you this and see here the Java application you see here this is the value of the first object Amit Malik 24 male second object you see RC Sustagi 25 male and finally you can see or one thing let me do here that here in the two string overridden method I specify a slash in to make it clear that the output comes into the new line run as Java application okay here you go now see here first object customer Amit Malik I initialize with second one is the Asis Rustagi and the last one is the Mega Gupta third value these all were the object as part of one collection were printed when we have simply tried to print this list over here cust a variable of list type which is written by the factory method which is trying to instantiate the bean from by using making use of the IOC container and returning us the list of customers so it's very simple and pretty straightforward you can see over here how you can work with collections in spring and few more things here like uh, suppose it's not necessary that every time we create the collection list over here we create the objects nested like this if suppose you have this particular one of the object let's say I take it here it is declared over here okay and let's say I specify an ID over here call it C1 so here one more tag that you need to understand if you have object already existing in your configuration file in the same file or an another file you can use the ref tag over here to refer to this existing bean 
you can use either the local or you can use the bean if you specify local you can refer to any local bean that is declared local to this file i say c1 what i am trying to demonstrate here is that rather than creating this particular objects over here as an inner bean inside our list tag we can refer to the existing bean also like we can have this bean already created so rather than repeating this uh, line of code over here we can just simply use a ref tag to refer to those specific already declared bean and make it part of our collection like let me show you here if i just execute it run as java application i'll be getting still the same output see here first is amit malik asis rustagi and mega gupta all the values you are getting over here so we can make use of this ref tag also so this is one way we can insert simply simple ref uh, reference types in our objects into our collection but if you want to insert simple value type you can use the value tag as well like i say i want to simply insert a number over here 100 this as a value can be inserted but right now it cannot be because our class that is uh, here the report is specified to have a list of customer type only that is generic you can see over here so if you try to insert any value type this cannot be type casted into customer type it will throw you an exception like let me show you just java application exception yeah see here if you try to read it what it says is that java lang illegal state exception cannot convert value of type string to require type that is customer you can understand this that you are trying to simply enforce this container to store the 100 as a value customer cause report is always going to have customer type in the collection so rather than having this customer let's say i change it to generic object object changes required over here also and in the setter also or rather you delete and generate the getter setter again so i just change here the property type i said it will be a collection it will be a list of objects anything can be inserted not only the customer even it can have a value type which is going to be converted into a simple reference type like 100 the value i mean to suppose to insert over here it will be converted into an instance of type integer or float or long or double or whatever it is and it is going to be inserted similarly we can have another object also mixed over here in the collection just for the demonstration i am doing here once more you see over here what i am trying to say that in this report class this property customer list is simply a collection of object it can store any object and here now i have a value a value type 100 a ref tag to refer to an existing bean and simple two beans that are created as part of this list to instantiate customer object and insert it into the collection so all these are the way we can work with collection in especially only the list type we can have this value ref and bean tags nested over here let me show you the final output here Okay, save the changes cancel some error sorry let me check over here okay yeah so it need to be changed into object as well okay sorry fine now just try and execute over here java application here the object type i have to specify because the value is specified like that okay see here you get this hundred also you get all the three customer so this is all about list that in list you can is insert a simple value value over here you can refer to an existing bean or you can instantiate the beans over here and insert into the list okay so this is about list and in the next video you'll see about set map properties and following on okay thank you for watching